sure what the time is, it's probably somewhere around nine-ish. Um, we've woken up in about nine, she only says through the window. We've woken up in 29 Palms, in a nice little Airbnb in the middle of the desert. And here's the outdoor shower that I used last night, which was an experience to say the least. Um, the room is nice, I'll show you in a moment. I'm just getting my bearings and having a cigarette before we go on a long drive, because we are going through the Mojave Desert today and then to Las Vegas, yay! And here's the nice little room that we stayed in. It's just, it, I think it's a converted garage. But yeah, it's really nice. Obviously we've shitted it up a bit because the bed's not made and there's towels everywhere, but it's a nice little room for the night and it was the closest thing to Joshua Tree and the cheapest thing that we could find. And they've got this, um, well, there's a guest book that I've signed. And then this map of the world that says, please mark where you're from. So, put a little London on there. Is that gonna focus? Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so now we are going to go. We're not gonna stop for breakfast this morning because um, we've got, well, it's gonna take us four hours to get to Vegas with a stop in the middle. So, we've got some snacks in the car, like breakfast bars and bananas and stuff to keep us going. But I'm not that worried about eating because we are going to the Bellagio buffet tonight. So, food! <laughs> There's some um, way over there, you probably can't even see if I zoom in. But at each intersection where there's a dirt road going off, um, rather than the postman having to go up the road to deliver mail, they have like a cluster of post boxes at the end of each road. It's so weird! And now I've said that, it's probably not going to be coming up for a little while. over again at somewhere that we stopped before it's um sort of like an old 1950s gas station and motel uh, the reason we stopped here before was because we noticed route 66 was painted on the uh, on the road so we pulled over to get a picture of it but this place itself is actually apparently really well known increasingly aggravated because there's a car full of some sort of Eastern European people, like four girls, who are parked just there. That um that little sedan. They really had to park their car there, didn't they? Of all the places. Yeah, exactly. Everyone else is parked in the car park area. They decided to park on the side of the road and they still can't stop taking pictures of the road. They've literally been there for nearly half an hour and they're standing right over the the road painting for road marking for route 66 so no one else can fucking take a picture because they're tarting about and it's getting very old i'm very hot and i want to take a picture and go so a little bit further down from the disused motel there's also a disused school oh my god their lights are on please go fuck off oh my god yeah, fuck off, about fucking time! Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. That was a nice little stop, but we were here for way longer than we ought to have been. We've probably been here for like. Cows. Exactly, we've probably been here for like 45 minutes. Me, Jane, you're meant to be going the other way. Oh shit, sorry. It's alright. Um, but yeah, God bless air conditioning. I think I might just put my face in front of it for a few minutes because I'm melting! No. Here's something we never did on our last trip. Drive down a dirt road. Uh...
our next stop. Well, after a very, very bumpy ride, we've just parked here in this little dirt circle. And I think we need to walk up here for maybe. Tubes. I don't actually think I've mentioned these I'm doing it, I just keep referring to them and stop. But basically there's these cavey sort of things formed by lava. And there are holes in the top of them. Like it's all naturally formed stuff. And when you go down into the cave you can see like the beam of sunlight coming through the the hole. Well I hope so anyway, I'll be really fucking pissed off if not. Because this was a long and difficult drive and this woman over here did a spectacular three-point turn on a narrow dirt road that was made of like sand and gravel Thank you. it was great but we're here now so we're gonna go find it Inside. The gateway to hell. Oh, please don't say that. <laughs> now we climbed down into the mouth of hell and then crawled through this little tunnel here to be rewarded with this cave. Oh, I can sort of see a beam. Yeah. Well. This is the Mojave Lava Tube. I can't believe all the faff we went to to get down here. Oh, the beam actually looks way better through this camera. Mm. Looks better than it does to the naked eye. So yeah, these caves are formed by lava. And there are holes in the top. You can see all the dust particles floating around in the beam. That's so cool. <coughs> and there's another smaller one up this end, I think. This is cool. It was a lot of fucking effort to get to, but it's cool. Road. I'm so excited! Oh my god! See, we're going right here. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, oh how good is this gonna feel? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh so took, good! That took almost half an hour. Four miles. Well, yeah, it was 4.8 miles, so oh, call it five. And if we were driving at 10 miles an hour, that would yeah. be half an hour. Yeah. How'd you feel? Oh my god! Terry, did it. Well done, Terry. Well done, Sheeny. a little stress ball for the last couple of hours because it took such a long time to get parked in New York, New York where we're staying. Um, like, it's a funny hockey Yeah, because there's a hockey game going on in the Team Mobile Arena which is behind New York, New York and it just causes absolute havoc with the traffic. So we got to Vegas just fine but it took us like 40 minutes just to turn the corner to get into the car park. Uh, and then we quickly got cleaned up and changed and then we walked down to the Bellagio to pick up our tickets for Cirque du Soleil tonight. Um, but it, just, it took such a long time to walk and people kept getting in my way. 
buffet and it was hot. Oh, but now that we are here in a buffet and I know that we've got a good couple of hours before doors open for our show, I feel a little bit more chilled out. Now I'm going to eat a piece of food. Um, unfortunately, that does mean that due to my grump, I haven't really filmed anything in the last couple of hours, so you may have to check out Sheeta's videos and some strip action. Um, yeah, food time. Just gone for a little starter here. We've got uh, a piece of prime rib, a piece of brisket, some potatoes, some asparagus, some spinach. That'll do as an appetizer. Round two is a distinctly seafood theme. Various preparations of salmon and tuna and cod and some token cauliflower, so there's a vegetable on my plate. Well, I've been defeated. Tell me about your dinner. Oh, you're just gonna have a nap instead. Come on. Yes, you can. <laughs> Tell me about your dinner. What was your verdict? I'm afraid it was a bad idea. <laughs> Milk was a bad choice. Um, no, it was, it was good. Just, um, is, there, is there a way, is it hard or possible with our plays or not? In terms of? Like, how do you plan, how do you prepare for one? Well, I don't think we could have prepared any more than not eating all day. <coughs> Yeah, we did have a banana. But like, I don't know, what time was that? No. Yeah, we each went up for three rounds, but only ate two and a half. And then got little desserts, but I've only had like one bite of everything that I got, and it can't be done. I'm defeated. This is a fun novelty. Good morning from New York, New York. 
Um, it's quite late for us this morning, it's about 10. Um, we really struggled getting out of bed because the beds are so comfy and we had a really late night last night. Um, but yeah, this restaurant just behind us, so we're going to go get some breakfast. America. Okay, so belly's very full. We're just trekking back to the uh, <coughs> back to the car. It's really good breakfast. I think we'll go there again tomorrow before we leave. What are we looking at? Oh, the roller coaster. Roller coaster later. Um, so yeah, we're now trekking to where we parked the car to go to Seven Magic Mountains. I've gone for some unflattering pigtails today because the weather forecast is it's super windy. And here they are, the Seven Magic Mountains. Let's go get a closer look. There she is. Well done. Amazing. Well, we've just nipped back to our room quickly to drop off our shopping. Is that a fart? <laughs> it's a fart. <laughs> it's the leaf buttons. <laughs> um, and now we are going on. She's going on New York, New York's roller coaster. I'm not, because I'm a pussy. We're being separated now. I'm not allowed to go any further because I'm not riding. Good luck. Please go. Okay. Wish me luck. Right, I'll see you in a minute. that it shakes you about a lot. Yeah, it was, it was just so, don't send me to his. I did open my eyes kind of towards the end, but when it was going really low. Did you have fun? Yeah, I'm gonna go again, maybe at night. Oh, <laughs> that'd be fun. <laughs> Golden Pony Boy, okay. I gotta pee. <laughs> Look what I found. It me.
I'm looking super windswept. It's, it's been a very, it's very, very like <laughs> It's been a very, very windy day in Las Vegas. Like it's for it. <laughs> <laughs> not like so bad it broke wind. <laughs> Just leave it there. Um yeah, it's been super windy, like oh this is our room. Uh like 45 mile an hour winds all day. Um, but we had a really cool afternoon in Fremont Street, as you would have seen, and then we went to, sorry, I'm trying to hold the keypad. <coughs> there it is. Went to the Neon Museum this evening, which unfortunately we weren't allowed to film at, but. Got loads of good photos. Um, I hope I've got some good photos, I haven't really looked at them, but I'll probably slot a few in. It's now shortly after 10, I think. Yeah, please turn the aircon off, I'm fucking freezing. <laughs> Um, <coughs> shortly after 10 I think so gonna have a shower and get a pretty early night because we are leaving reasonably early tomorrow certainly earlier than we were up today to go to Death Valley I thought we're leaving at 8 does that mean like we have to be in the car at 8 o'clock oh no it's far too Just, much effort Okay. But right. I'll reevaluate all of the stuff tonight okay. um, so yeah gonna get ready for bed oh god I look absolutely awful gonna get ready for bed go to sleep Probably pack all my shit in the morning because I can't be bothered to do it now. Um, so for now, I bid you adieu.